All right, I'm actually addicted to trying to get a lot out of only just a little, especially when it comes to gaming and tech. That's a small reason for my channel name. And a couple of weeks back, I decided to test some webcams on my Xbox Series S on a whim, and turns out they actually worked when I didn't think they would, which led me down the rabbit hole of wanting to stream from my PlayStation 5 or Xbox. And really, there's a lot of people that already do this, except I don't want a big production, I don't want to dish out 250 bucks for a capture card, and I just want to have a whole stream set up for my consoles only. So in this video, I'm going to show you how my setup went from this to this. And I'm sure I'll be bad at streaming since I've never really done it live before, but I really don't care. It looks fun and God of War Ragnarok is just around the corner. So we're going to get it done and stream that when it comes out. So for this project, Urgear did send me out this new desk to help with this project, so thanks to them for helping me revamp this entire setup. I am a decrepit millennial who will tweak four places with just a dad sneeze, so a sit-stand desk is an absolute must. So let's get into it. And if you're new here, thanks for stopping by. On this channel, I cover gaming, tech, and a few things in between, so if you dig the video, hit the like button. And if if you love it be sure to subscribe if you don't the next time you try to turn on your tv your remote will be missing a battery all right let me start with this desk from Urgear since this is the foundation of this whole setup my previous desk was this white ikea manual sit stand desk and while it definitely did the job i needed something to accommodate my aging fragile self and frankly my apple watch bugs me once an hour to stand up so this is perfect i've got a lot going on to this desk as well so it does need to hold at least 100 pounds which this can hold up to 176. As well, I'm a large dude and I'm top heavy if you know what I mean, so I like to lean on my desk since I don't use my armrests, though I probably should. The wild thing is, this desk is only 230 bucks, which is literally one fifth of what some standing desks go for, and the quality is actually good. Plus, it only took me about 30 minutes to set this thing up start to finish, including a break to say goodnight to my kid. They do have multiple sizes as well, but for my little basement nook here, this setup is gonna be using the 55 inch by 28 inch size. And after setting it up, it's nice to see that there's not much wobble, and most of the wobble that I'm experiencing is from my spring monitor arm and microphone boom arm. The finish I have is the vintage brown which looks great. This desk can have up to 3 heights set between 28 and 47 inches approximately. I'm about 6'2 and this is comfortable for me. I've also never had a desk with grommet holes so this is underrated for cable management which I haven't done yet. Please don't judge me, right now I have a bit of a Homer Simpson situation going on with my cable management. Oh and there is a spot for your headphones as well. With a solid steel frame and a great price I really can't complain, check this out linked below. And if you're not in your 30s yet, that back pain will catch up to you so you better get standing. Okay so let me jump right into talking about my PlayStation 5 since this is what will be powering mostly everything. I mentioned it before, I don't want to fuss with capture cards and all that, I'm sure it would have a lot more benefits but honestly the PlayStation 5 is actually super powerful already and allows you to stream directly to both Twitch and YouTube. And as a beginner streamer I feel like it's more important to master my craft and focusing on streaming itself more than OBS settings and all that sort of stuff. Plus the PlayStation 5 of course has God of War Ragnarok coming up and honestly I've been waiting for this like crazy crazy since finishing God of War 2018 a couple months back. The PlayStation 5 makes it so easy to go live as well, and I've got this PlayStation HD cam in today, so we'll be setting this up. This other webcam is actually from my Xbox Series S, which I'll also be streaming from. Hopefully I can find a way to stream to YouTube from this, since I think it only streams to Twitch right now. If anyone does know how to get the Series S to stream direct to YouTube, please let me know down below in the comments section. So these stacked monitors are of course what I'll be using to play and keep an eye on what will most likely be an empty chat to start. The bottom monitor is a Lenovo Ultrawide, which actually actually has a 144Hz refresh rate. This used to be my primary ultrawide for gaming and it still does a great job. This will future-proof me as well if I ever want to introduce my PC and start streaming, but for now, we'll keep it to just my consoles. And the top monitor is the Gigabyte M32Q and simply put, I have not come across a more versatile monitor to date. This is a 1440p monitor with 165 refresh rate, but between all the inputs and I.O., this thing absolutely rocks. This monitor pairs beyond perfectly with the Xbox Series S, and recently the PlayStation 5 got 1440p support, which is good enough for me. There is a 4K version of this monitor, I might try that out, but for now, this will do absolutely fine, and I can't deny it still looks incredible. Now, outside of my consoles being set up to these monitors, I do have an anchor hub for my MacBook. Primarily, my MacBook will be set up to keep an eye on both my stream quality and chat at the same time. Again, getting a lot out of just a little, this whole desk setup is relatively small, but that doesn't mean it can't have a multi-purpose. This hub ties together the setup perfectly for both editing YouTube videos and hopefully some gaming clips. As well, this hub may eventually connect to my gaming PC if I do choose to stream that way, assuming I'm not absolutely trash at it. And outside of all of that, I've got some other stuff in the setup to help the quality of the stream. I've got this inexpensive felt desk pad for a touch of contrast, it's just nice to complement the wood finish of the desk. My keyboard is a Keychron K4, which I've had for quite a long time, but it definitely 
serves me well. I still really dig the aesthetic. And my mouse, I actually just picked this up this week and it's just a basic Razer Arachi V2. I don't really care for all the super wild gaming aesthetics and RGB stuff and it works perfectly for me. I will mention something that feels like a must have, especially with a sit stand desk, and that's a decent power strip. You'll want something that you can mount underneath your desk or straight up hide behind your monitor. Again, this one I have hidden behind, so you can plug almost anything into it on top of the desk while only having one cable going up from a socket. And lastly, I've got this Blue Yeti microphone on a boom arm. I'm torn between whether I want to use this with my PlayStation 5 or just chill with a headset mic. I'll be sure to test them both out. And I definitely can't forget, I got included in the setup is my espresso machine. I'll definitely be needing my coffee for Ragnarok. But overall, I'm super stoked to jump on stream either way. I think I'll have a good time playing games regardless. If you think there's something in the setup that's a must have, please let me know down below in the comments. I'll have everything in the setup linked down below in the video description, and I hope to see some of you when I'm live. Anyways, that's been it. Thanks again for watching. Till next time.